All right, so today's video is gonna be all about removing your fuel pump, and uh, it doesn't it doesn't take much. It's only a few tools, and uh, if you have everything else to the point that I have it, it's super easy. So, anyways, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the fuel pump is right there, and uh, obviously, as you can see, for me, since if you haven't seen any of my other videos, um. I've been tearing apart my valley. I took the uh, fuel pole out of there. I took the turbo, and uh, all of this is gonna make this job uh, way easier. Which is why I'm doing all of the, which is why I'm doing all of this at once. Um, but even if you still have your fuel pole and turbo, uh, you can still get it out. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult, but it can be done. Um, I believe if you have your fuel pole still in there, you're still gonna, you're still gonna have to. Um, Kind of break uh, those two bolts at the back of it loose so you can tilt it up a little bit more out of the way and uh, you're gonna have to remove your fuel hoses so the one that's gonna be right there there and at the bottom but obviously i cut those off because i'm gonna be deleting my fuel bowl i'm gonna be deleting the fuel pump so i'm not gonna need um any of these things and I really, really encourage you guys. Uh, one of the some of the best upgrades you can do is what I'm doing right now, um, deleting the whole fuel system and going to an e fuel system. Uh, they are much better for your truck, and you don't have to mess with any of this anymore. But if all you want to do is just uh, fix a leak, um, I'll try and do my best to show you how to take the fuel pump and without <laughs> dropping your plunger in there, which I'm hoping that I don't do myself. But anyways, let's let's, uh, let's get to it. For me, it's only going to be removing three bolts. Um, two 10 mils and one that's going to be inch and a quarter uh, banjo bolt that's going to be in the back which is going to be the first one we're going to take out so anyways let's uh let's get to it let's take that one okay out. so your inch and a quarter banjo bolt is going to be directly behind your fuel pump you can see these two lines are the ones that come out of it so what i have is an inch and a quarter socket on the breaker bar and hopefully that'll be enough to take it off so anyways let's let's try and do it All right. Ah, there we go. That's broken loose. And it looks like you're gonna be leaking some uh, diesel out of it, which makes sense that there be diesel in the in the fuel pump. Luckily, I had a I had a bucket in hand, and I just stuck that under the truck. But we got this fuel bolt, this uh, banjo bolt, broken loose. There we go. As you can see, it's a pretty good size. So that's why I kind of recommend that you use a breaker bar, especially if uh, maybe somebody else uh, did this job before you and they probably really got this thing tight, like most of the bolts on this truck. Now, I'm pretty sure most of the bolts on this truck uh, haven't been torqued to spec because they were all really tight. But anyways, we got this one out. Now we're gonna go and try and break loose the two 10 mil bolts, which those should be pretty easy. Again, I got a 10 mil socket. On my breaker bar. And we got that one. Now we're gonna go for the other one. And those things are caked in, uh, in oil, so you wanna make sure that, that your socket really sits in them. There we go. So, so far nothing too hard. Really the hardest part about this whole job is uh, actually taking out the fuel pump because what really commonly happens in these trucks and I'm really hoping it doesn't, doesn't happen in mine is that the plunger that this thing uh, rides on, on the camshaft, will break off or fall into your engine, which I heard that is not the biggest thing because it'll fall right into your oil pan and it really won't make that much of a problem for you but you still don't really want it in there and the key to really not having your your plunger fall in there is to try and pull this thing straight up so we're gonna try and doing that so we got our two bolts out now all we gotta do is Try and pull this thing, like I said, straight up, and hopefully everything will come with it. 
And <laughs> look at that. There we go. Ah, oh, man, I'm actually pretty relieved that I don't have to deal with this thing anymore. Um, that was actually really easy. Uh, like I said, having all these things out of the valley, I think made the biggest difference. Um, I don't have to deal with anything in the way. Actually, the, the only other thing you want to do is you want to make sure you clean all that mess that you see right there. Because you don't want none of that falling into your engine. So what I believe I'm going to be doing is grabbing my vacuum and cleaning all that up real, real good. And the last thing you want to make sure is that you have your hole. You actually want to put a free, uh, you actually want to put a freeze plug in it, but uh, I actually forgot to buy one, so I just stuffed the rag in there. I make sure that uh, it was clean all around it. And that's pretty much gonna be it. Like I said, it's a pretty easy job, uh, actually really easy. Uh, I got it out within like five, 10 minutes. And like I said, having the fuel bowl and turbo out of here made it like about 10 times easier. And uh, it came right out without a problem, which I'm super happy. Probably the easiest thing I've done to this thing so far. Um, but anyways, like I said, uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll start working on the injectors. I know I said that that's gonna be the next job, but I forgot about the fuel pump. Uh, now we got that thing out and we're gonna start working on the injectors tomorrow. So anyways, uh, hit the like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Like I said, subscribe because this, this thing's getting better and better by the day.